Today I will return to Padlet.com and I will continue my tutorial about how you can create your Padlets. If you missed part 1, I will link it up in the eye for you. So without any further ado, let's get into today's tutorial. Hi, I am Pixel Pia, a teacher with 30 plus years experience from Sweden and US. I recently found the website Padlet.com and the app with the same name. This can be used in education, for your business, for any personal use and the possibilities are endless. In my last video, I went through how to create your account how to set up your first Padlet and add text, add files and add a link to a web page from your Padlet. So let's move over to the computer and take a look at what we have done so far and continue the work. Okay, time for tutorial part 2. Here we are back at Padlet.com and let's log in and I use my Google account as always so let's log in and we end up at <clears throat> our dashboard I mean I have my three padlets here and let's go in and take a look at the one we worked on last tutorial my test wall for YouTube this is how the padlet looks today and just to quickly recap here is the section where we set it up we choose title and description and background and all of that stuff and these are the notes we added we added some text we uploaded a video we linked to an external website uploading a text file and upload a photo or in this case a drawing so let's continue and add some more let's start by clicking the little plus sign and today we are gonna click these three little dots here and we're gonna start by doing a voice recording directly from our Padlet so I click voice and end up in the audio booth you can pause and resume recording any number of times. Your recording can be up to 15 minutes long and you can replay the audio before you save. And it's very easy. Just hit this little start recording button. So now we are recording our audio message. And this is just a test message for my tutorial. It is paused and if I had more to say I could continue but let's go up here to the right where you see playback and save I click that and here we have the play button for my sound and let's listen to it so now we are recording our audio message and this is just a test message for my tutorial that was okay I think so test voice recording we call this and hit save and it's saving and here we have the love voice recording message taste test voice recording and we can do everything we did with all our other notes this is recorded directly in the Padlet and here you can see the image of the voice recording and let's listen again so now we are recording our audio message and this is just a test message for my tutorial. 
I can download, I can open in a new window and view the full post. So that's how easy you can add a voice recording. So click outside it and the next thing we're going to do directly from our Padlet again is to add a little video. It's called film here. I'm very sorry about the bad light I have right now, but let's do it anyhow. The first time you do this, you have to give permission. I have already done that. And as you see, you can pause and resume recording any number of times. Your recordings can be up to five minutes long. You can replay the video before you save. And once again, it says you have a beautiful smile. So I know it's very dark here. But let's try anyhow. This is my test recording using the Padlet. That wasn't much, but just as with the video, we can go back here and hit play. This is my test recording using the Padlet. Let's add a title. Save. At a time like this, I wish I had a faster computer. So here it is. Record a video directly in your Padlet. Now I have rearranged everything here. Okay, let's see if my video is done. Not yet. Okay, while we're waiting for that to be rendered, now we're going to use Google search and instead of using the three dots we actually have a little icon for Google search and to stay out of the realm of copyright let's look for images here that are here is one that is mine so let's incorporate that one. That's a little bit moji I had of myself. Okay, let's do another Google search and Pixel Pia Anchor. web let's go here we have to take a step around it but this is my podcast so let's see what happens when it hello hey son hey I am pixel Pia and I am a Swede living in the US well there you have it a little audio file should we try one more thing from Google search? Let's look for a video. And I'm using my name again just to make sure that we are not ending up in trouble with copyright. Oh, I don't think this will work because we have to go here. I do not allow embedding in my videos. That's why. So we can't play it in my Padlet, but we can Hello. play it here. Have you heard? So this little link doesn't work, but this should. We go up as you see okay 
So those were three different things to get from Google search and you know I like to color code mine. So let's get them into this greenish color here, all three of them. That is Google search apps. I want to show you one more thing today and that is how I can link to a Padlet from one of my Padlet. I can only link to my own, but let's add the review shelf in here. And we haven't looked at that at all yet, but we will in my next tutorial. So click on it and it opens my review shelf. And this is where I have prepared for reviewing Padlet. So so my Padlet starts to have a lot of content. This is how we build a wall of content. And as always, I can just drag things around any way I want them organized on my Padlet. Now let's get back to the video. There we are. The Padlet starts to take form. In my next and final part on the, of this tutorial, I will show the other layout options and how they can be used. I will also take a look at other f features on the website and show you the app. And I will show you some of my favorite pad padlets I have found as inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified on when I upload. And if you like this video, a thumb up and a comment would really warm my heart. Until next time, remember, never stop learning. Bye.